What's going on, West Texas? Damian Bartonic here to give you the latest news from the world of sports. And as many of you know, the Angelo State Rams came away from Cary, North Carolina as national champions. And yesterday, the city of San Angelo welcomed the team back, waiting for their arrival at the Ranger Aviation Complex. Luckily for us, we got to speak to an alumni, a member of the team, and Coach Brooks to hear what this accomplishment means to them. Just to watch the boys come in, it's been an exciting year. Just love it. It's happened. Had a great time. The whole room erupted. It just everybody went crazy. So it was really great. It's surreal. Um, this is the last, you know, one of the last things I expected coming off the plane was seeing all these people here from all over town. Um, it's a really special feeling. This is once in a lifetime kind of thing. So um, I'm just proud of my guys. Um, I'm glad I could be there for them and all that. Um, this is a special moment. Really special. You know, and we're not the flashiest team. We play some teams up there were real flashy and it was really nice kicking their butt to be out there. You know, we feel just nuts and bolts, but we are so proud to represent Angelo State and represent this community. Uh, it is a blessing and the Lord has really blessed us. Thank you all so much. Congratulations to the fellas on the team for bringing it all home. Now up the road in San Angelo, the Wall Hawks found themselves playing for the state crown on Saturday morning. Now the Hawks fell short by a final score of 6-4 to four to the Boyd Yellow Jackets. Though they did not bring home the state crown, they had four members of their 2023 team make the 3A All-Tournament team in Kellen Oliver, Will Shear, Garen Wiggins, and Luke Kemp. Also today, summer camps continue as the Central Bobcats girls basketball team held their youth camp teaching first through ninth graders the basics of basketball. Well, a huge purpose is my, one of my biggest beliefs in my philosophy is that we've got to start young. You know, if we're going to be competitive with these other schools that work, you know, with their elementaries and their PE kids, uh, that we've got, to, we've got to get to our youth. It's nice to see like when coaches trickle down like what they're what they implement in there. So we're kind of just implementing into the kids, and it's great to see them like just flourish from here. I love basketball. You might have to see me on the court, but that will do it for six o'clock sports. Keep it here for more news after the break.